soon as we did the floor work, she thought, you're done. And that was 10 and 9. It's only 7 I just can't I just Hi, everybody. Kelly, Coffee Fit Raw, here with my crew today. I thought you guys might like to get to know who they are and kind of like who you're working out with each day. <laughs> so we have Noel, who's also my photographer, Sammy, and Lori. All right, so what I did was I asked you guys on Facebook for a few questions that you can send these guys and to, and to myself, so find out what's going on with us and in our lives. Um, this first question is from Heather. Heather says, besides the fact that you're friends, uh, how do you choose your video shoots? Uh, video shoots actually come from, you guys can look at that, the camera too. I feel like just staring at me. Um, the, uh, I get the video shoots from classes. So when I throw together a class and try to like reinvent classes, that's how the videos come about. Working at my basement, I just do whatever feels right and that becomes a video. So that's how that happens. Um, these guys are always in class at least three days a week and so they go, they move through it with me so we kind of all learn and do it together. Um, Sandra says, how do you decide who is going to do the beginner modifications? Oh boy, this is, this is something. She doesn't want to do it. She has done it in Plateau Buster. And she, I don't know if she was happy about it, but she did it. Lori will do it. She goes, whatever you need, whatever you need. Um, since Lauren left, Lauren was our modifier in the very beginning of the workouts, back starting 10 years ago. Uh, she was great. She enjoyed doing it. She can actually do very high impact, but she kept it low for the video. So I think it's whoever kind of feels they can do that move or whatever. So it kind of morphed into whoever thinks they can do that move lower. So that's why you don't see as much as you used to, but we do do our best to give you those modifications. And our ailments. Oh, absolutely. That's right. Um, Sammy had one time hurt her Achilles. Your heels or your Achilles? Yes, I had tendonitis my heel. Yeah. Which one, that was for? That was for amped the up cardio. Was the amped up cardio. Amped up cardio. I don't know if you'll know, no. but she was injured and she still filmed. It was a minor injury that she was having treated, and um, <laughs> she did great. It's funny. Like also at amped up cardio, we were kind of squished on stage. <laughs> These two almost <laughs> fell off the back. I don't know if you know where that is in the, so if you have amped up cardio, kind of take a peek and watch these two not fall off the back. Um, so that was from Sandra. Uh, also from Sandra is, how many training sessions do you do prior to shooting the workouts? So what do you guys say? How many? How many? I think it depends. I think we follow her so much mm -hmm. in class that the last filming, there weren't really many no. additional no. rehearsals. Right. Well, it depends on choreography, kind of show up. too. Yeah. We used to do stuff. Right. The choreographer, we had to come in later and yep. practice with you. A lot. a lot. In the past, we practiced all the time. It was annoying. <coughs> Especially for the step. Yes. All the routines, Videos. step boxing, yeah. all that mm -hmm. stuff. But we don't do as much choreography. Maybe in the future we'll do one more of those step boxing that you're requesting. Right. Um, but we're, we do drills, and again, we do it three times a week, and we do that for four to six months. So by the time we actually film this, we're so sick of every single move, we can't even think about it. And I still don't know what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So every time we film, we film about at least four 30-minute workouts, and I tell them all the time, "Okay, this is this is this this is circuit burn one. This what? What is this? I don't know. I don't know what What's you're doing. What's happening? What are we doing? She's I don't know. Just start. Second Kelly. before the camera goes on. She too. does. She does. Oh my god, I have no idea what's happening. I'm like, just don't talk to me. About it. Um, so yeah, so they used to it, when she first filmed with us. She was trying to, she, like, she's very, like, particular about knowing everything. So she says, so, you know, what are we doing? What's going on? Like, she's still doing today, but I'm comfortable with her. <laughs> and I went to Lauren, I think it was Lauren, and I said, you better go tell her to stop talking to me. I said, you get her away from me. I don't know how to do this job. And she keeps asking me questions. So we were hysterical. So Lauren buffered me from her. Isn't and that, that very nice? First Isn't day, that nice? We had to because she was killing me. She was killing me with the questions. So that was funny. And she's grown to love me since then. Yeah. But but it's funny. Here's how we here's how we met. So first, I think it was Sammy. So Sammy's in class. Laura and I are doing class and Chris Ramundo. We're doing class and looking in to see who else we can bring in. Whoever in class like really does a great job. So we see this tan girl comes in, does a great job, leaves. We don't see her for a couple days or a week, and then all of a sudden the tan girl shows back up and she's doing something like that. 
whoever that girl is showing up tan and doing a good job, we got to get her. <laughs> That's right. So we finally found out who she was and said, would you like to start training with us, see if you can fit in the video? And she said, yeah, and so it's been ever since. Then I'm doing step boxing, starting this that new training. She's in the back of the room, brand new person. She's punching like a son of a gun. So I'm like, my God, I love how that girl's punching in the background. So I later went to her in the back of class and asked her, like, have you done this before? And she said, no. And I said, I like the way you punch. You really do it kind of aggressive, kind of like a guy. Thank you. So it was great. Yeah, it was really, it was a compliment for me. You punch like a guy, that's good. Um, so it was funny that she, she was excited, so then she came into those workouts, and it's been ever since. Then we have the kid. The newbie, the young kid, and she's in class. Boy, I'm telling you, girl has form like you can't believe. So I was like, I have to talk to her and get her in film. Not only is she adorable, but I had to get her in because her form, her form was great. Her form was absolutely, absolutely it's funny because she's had a dream recently. She told me she had a dream. <laughs> Wait, what was it? You had a dream that you did a move so beautiful that I was going to give you $10,000. Oh, my God. <laughs> she's so, so well, tell like, me. <laughs> <laughs> I barely remember this dream, but I remember just being like, oh my gosh, my form is amazing. <laughs> She's going to pay me for it. <laughs> That's but so then she came in. She was uh, kind of surprised that, that I asked her. Um, then she shot a couple, and I went to ask her for like a third shooting, and she goes, uh, I think I'd rather be your friend. Or your photographer. Or your photographer. Do I have to keep being in it? And then she fell in love with it, and she was upset when I didn't ask her the next time. So we were, we were rehearsing, and Noelle was opting out. Well, I wanted to keep showing up to get the extra workouts. Yeah, so she went, and then she ended up being in them. She's like, ah, oh, this is great. Let's just do it. <laughs> but uh, her nerves subsided. All right, so um, Olivia asks, are any of the crew members here trainers? Are you a trainer? No, I'm not. No, she's not. Now, the funny thing with her, not the funny thing, but the interesting thing, when I first met her that day, I talked to her after class, she had told me she joined the club because she had osteopenia. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is amazing because when I met her, she was in your, your 30s? Or early 40s? Yes, 30s. Yeah, 30s. yeah late yeah. 30s. Yeah. And I was a little surprised by that, but it can happen at any age. Um, and then she went six months later, had the testing done, and she had, <coughs> had fixed all of it. It was reversed. Mm -hmm. So the next DEXA scan was reversed. Which is amazing. So, yeah. All that weightlifting, all that work right. worked for her, which is great. Um, Sam, are you a personal trainer? No, I'm not. It's funny, Sammy has recently, well, we'll talk about this later. Um, <laughs> we'll get that later. Noelle, are you a personal trainer? I'm not. See, so no one's a personal trainer. I was in the very beginning. I was 35 years ago or more. I would much rather teach a crowded class than have to go one-on-one. -on -one. Because the energy you need to work with one person is amazing. Um, most trainers don't do that, which is unfortunate, but if you're going to be a personal trainer, you better show up every day for that client and give them 110%. Um, it's very draining. So I got out of that, and I'd rather work with a class and just have fun and kind of shake my hips and make some <laughs> funny comments. You do that. And that you do. <laughs> now I have a question for Sammy. Um, rumor has it that after 10 years, you finally listened to me and admitted <laughs> something. What was that something that you admitted I was correct in? What was it? There's two things. Okay. What are the two things? The longest time this one was telling me to wear to the halter yep. to show off the shoulders. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She wouldn't do it. Just she wouldn't do it. do it. So finally I went to do the halter and I got all these compliments and this one of course takes all the credit that she always does. <laughs> That's the way it's supposed to be, right? And heavier lifting, less cardio. Yeah. Which is what I've been doing. More so. Because I was more cardio for many years. Yes. And recently, a lot well since the last video, heavier lifting. Um, I've been doing a little bit more, like with my husband too, at his gym. But Kelly was right, and I told her I she love was that. right, <laughs> Feels and she so has been good. right all this, all this Feels time. Feels so good. But she, she would have the cute little strappy things, and it would be right here, and and I'm like, oh yeah, it's really you'd cute. You'd always pull it up. You'd always like. And I always tried to get it closer to her neck yeah. to show the shoulder. And, and I got it. I got but it. But no, but she's saying she got it. She got it last year. <laughs> <laughs> this is ten years later. So, <laughs> ten years later, she's getting it. And then I kept saying, Sam, Sam, up your weights, up your weights, up your weights. Muscle burns calories. So she just started doing that. I'm telling you. She's never had more definition. Right. Look at these guns. 
Well, now she's them. now she's wearing all shirts with the shoulder cut out. Yeah, cold shoulder. <laughs> we're, we're like, we me not every day. But um, no, so uh, uh, amazing the, the way she's doing with her husband at the, the gym and what she's doing in class really has just wow. Yes. Amazing, yeah. right? Definitely. Yes. Well, thank you. Um, so, what's your favorite workout? When, in class, what's your favorite? Um, I love step. I love I love boxing. I've mm -hmm. always loved boxing. That's my favorite. I like to jump. And I like high she does, she does impact like stuff. Throw me in a yoga class, and I'm very angry. I get She'll leave early. I leave. <laughs> I cannot bend like a pretzel. I mean, maybe I could, but I want to fall over. I'm just. It makes me angry. So I know it's good for everybody, but not me right now, anyway. So. And she won't do abs either. No, no abs, no floor work. No. I packed uh, up this morning in class. So I actually left. I packed Noelle up too. <laughs> <laughs> she just assumed we were done and we had to leave. And she likes floor work. I do. So she does really well with that kind of um, yoga, push up, vinyasa, cow dog, whatever those things are. <laughs> she loves dog. all of it. Sammy loves stretching. I, I mean, like anytime the stretch class she's in it, which is which is really cool. Mm -hmm. They're also, what's your favorite workout? Talk a little louder. The so step boxing and your kickboxing. Love boxing. The music, everything about it. I think the key to that was your kickboxing. Thank your you. kickboxing. Yeah, there you go. So that's so you step boxing and kickboxing. Cool. Noelle, what do you love? Well, I love boxing on Fridays with <coughs> Kelly. Only Kelly. Feels, I like that it's a Friday because it feels like it's a party in there. It almost feels like a big flash mob in a way. Which is why boxing should always be on Fridays. You yes. Never know. Yes. I will yeah. keep it. But you guys ask me all the time, you know, why why so much boxing and all that kind of thing. We love it. I think you just heard it today. We just love doing it's it. It's a good workout. It is. It's a great workout. Well, there's nothing better for your shoulders or your waistline than boxing. If you're punching correctly. Yes. The first time I took her class for boxing, afterwards I'm like, that did nothing for me. But I clearly wasn't punching correctly. So. <laughs> you got it quick, though. Yeah. You got it really quick. I've been teaching <laughs> boxing, I guess, for, again, going on about 10 years in classes. And I have some people who still don't get it right. But you know what? It, it it's definitely like a, an art that you have to perfect to get the benefits. So every time you throw a punch, you got to contract your abdominals. You have to assume someone's hitting you as you're hitting them. So once you can do that isometric contraction of your core, you will see the difference. And uh, it just takes kind of work and realizing that you have to contract. And hopefully everybody gets it. Um, this is from Catherine. We love Catherine. She's been in our mm -hmm. our live classes and yeah. stuff. She's, she's cool. Well, everyone's cool, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, okay. Open question for anybody, what's your favorite exercise? We just answered that with classes. Now, everyone wants to know what's your favorite exercise. Like, what, what one exercise do you love to do? If you have to pick an exercise. You can't say punching again. Oh, no. <laughs> one exercise. I, I guess I, I like, uh, I would, so lifting upper body, like arms. I definitely like that. I feel like I'm strong in that area, so I like to work that, and right. that's what I like the best. I think. Okay, Sammy? Same. Upper body. Upper body. Upper body, definitely. Yeah, it's funny. It, oh my gosh, it's so funny wow. they're saying this, because you guys always ask, or you, in the past you said, I think you're done saying this because you're tired of saying it. Um, why is Kelly light on legs, light on legs, light on legs? I'm actually not light on legs. If you actually look at my workouts, the way I design them is I sprinkle legs in. Oh my gosh, there's probably nothing worse than like, let's just do legs. I mean, like really, that. really, I just don't want to keep doing legs all day long. I just don't. I like to put the legs, sprinkle them in wherever I can, so you don't realize you're getting as much legs as you are. So when you get a chance, look at a workout, you don't think there's enough legs, and just try to compare that, okay, because you, you are getting the leg work in. And I also believe with kickboxing, with the jumps I do, that's leg work. It doesn't have to all be seven million squats, and as you get older, your knees can't take it anyway. A lot of people <laughs> lower back issues. You know, 95% of the population has a lower back issue. Most just don't know it. All that leg work can hurt, too. You have to be smart. I like to sprinkle it in. The other thing, which is good for Sam because she's getting her shoulders all buff and stuff. <laughs> other, the other question I get is like, you know, gosh, Kelly's so heavy on shoulders. Well, you know what? When your shoulders are built, you look fitter. You have to have nice sculpted shoulders, and it makes your whole body look different. Even if like the lower isn't where you want it to be, if you get that upper looking right, you wear the right pants or skirt, dude, you are in. When you talk about that V, yes. that makes it look. And it brings right. you, it makes it, you know, the illusion of a smaller waist. It does. Well, I mean, the, the V is actually, it's your back and your lats. So if you can build that, it's a great foundation for a fit look. All right, Cheryl, how did you get started? So you got started. 
So we know why you came in, so tell us about that. How did I get started? <coughs> Coming um, into the gym and doing classes and videos. You know, I worked out before I met you for a couple of years, before I had my kids. Um, it was like a dancey type cardio thing, and I like that because I like to be a part of a group. I love the energy. I love to have my friends with me. And, the best. and they hold me accountable too. So that text message comes. Are you here? Why are you here? I set you up. <laughs> Um, oh, don't tell the club they hate and we set each other up. So. Oh, sorry, I didn't so mean we that. don't do that. No, that doesn't matter. She's just saying that. So, and then I took time off. I had my kids, and then I hit that health problem issue. I wanted to get healthy, so that's what brought me into the gym, and that's when I met Kelly. And recently, um, you started seeing some weight coming on, whether it was stress, family life, whatever. Just a lot day more life. than ever, actually. And she was feeling it, and she and she used to say, oh, I could never diet. And I'm like, yeah, me neither, me neither, me neither. And they, they could, like, watch their food. We can't. Right. So this no. clown shows up. <laughs> this clown. clown. She, like, in, like, two weeks loses, like, so, like 10 pounds. And we're like, wait, what the heck happened to Lori? How'd that happen? She goes, oh, I'm not, no carbs. And we're like, I thought you could diet. She goes, oh, no, I, I can do this. Yeah. Only because I had to. It was just getting out of control. And um, it's low carbs, so the carbs are coming from vegetables. But... Ugh. Carbs are not my my friend, and over the holidays, I've definitely put at least five back on, Ugh, and tell. so they're not my friend. I know what I need to do. It has to be a lifestyle change for me. So, and you've done a great job. Thank you. No, you, you know, we we got a, we got salads uh, for after we have this like little round table. She gets a protein plate. <laughs> I might do like a salad's bed. I don't even know what to do next. <laughs> <laughs> so, how'd you get started? Um, I had a lot of weight to lose after I had Cassidy. My her second. Partner, my second. Um, before I had her, about six months, I used to smoke. I stopped smoking. Instant 10 pounds right away. Oh, nice. I did. And then... You don't advise Cassidy, it. Yeah, no. You gained 10 pounds right away. I gained right 10 away. pounds right away. Right. Yeah, I mean, oh. just like... And then I got pregnant with Cass. Uh, it, just, it just started piling on. And then I had my pacemaker placed. So my heart rate was so down, so I, it was easier for me to put on weight. Right. Once I had my pacemaker placed, I was pretty much pregnant with Cassidy. I started losing weight, just my heart rate was where it should have been. Able to get in fat burning zone. So, right. So after Cassidy was born, I waited, I think, nine months until we could bring the kids to the gym. I, I think that was the age. Right. And I, it, just, it just started coming off and taking Kelly's classes. I mean, I started off with her. I didn't know what I was doing. I was, like, so discouraged. I was, like... But she was tan. She was tan. <laughs> and her teeth are really white. Yes. And the lashes. Her and eyelashes. The lashes. She's oh snuffleupagus, I'm telling you. <laughs> she was already winning. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So I had like 30 pounds to lose, and I did. Amazing. And um, it's people like say, oh, I, you know, I have this, I have that, I have all this stuff. You can have whatever you want to have. She's a pacemaker. She had osteopenia. Okay, so you have to just overcome those things you think that you can't do. You, i got to overcome it and say, yeah, I can do it. Whether it's doing a yoga class, walking, whatever it is, you have to do something because that life is about being involved. Don't be a spectator. Be a participant. <laughs> my nose is that. running. <laughs> really? I feel her looking at my nose is running. I'm like, um, <laughs> so so tissue. To you. But I'm like, oh, okay. Um, but you have tissues here. <laughs> I'm one of those people that have to have a tissue tucked in or something. But I have cold. You are cold. <laughs> it's my basement. Um, it's a little chilly. So, Noel, how'd you get started and what made you come to the gym and what got you going? Well, I was not an athlete growing up at all. I was actually kind of a couch potato. And around 2008, a friend of mine challenged me to do a triathlon with her. So I knew that it took so much time to develop a pattern and a habit. So I said, I'm going to do it. So I trained for nine months, so I went from couch potato wow. to triathlete. I hated it. I hated it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. But I felt so good that I did it, because I can say that I'm a triathlete, even though I don't do that anymore. And you look amazing. I remember the pictures. Jeez. Um, but once I was yeah. done, I knew I was done. It was one and done. And so I joined the gym, and I heard all about this one's classes. So I'm like, yeah, I'll give them a try. <laughs> so, yes, and it's been... Seven, eight years now. And you know what's funny is she says she's a cat. These guys, guys did stuff here and there, whatever, throughout their lives. She was a cat potato. But what's funny is she makes more classes than anybody. <laughs> if she doesn't yes, come in twice true. in a row, she's like, oh, who's showing up? Who's showing up? I got to do a class. Yeah. She does more class than anybody because she just, which just an array of classes. Mm -hmm. I think I'm worried, though, that if 
I stopped coming for so many days that I could backslide yeah. to how I used to be. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So I just keep coming. Yeah. The fear uh, keeps you coming. I know. <laughs> and it should. It should. You should. You should be on that path where if I don't go, I know that the options are not that great. Um, from Liz, and Liz, when I saw this, I was laughing hysterically. She wants to know from each person, what's your favorite ice cream? Oh, uh, chocolate peanut butter. Mm. Love it. With hot caramel on top. Oh my god. <laughs> Mint chocolate chip, always. Love that too. Yeah. Chocolate chip. I'm boring. I don't <laughs> love ice cream, but I guess Boo. cookie dough. I know, I don't like ice cream. No, I, like no, I, don't, I don't need a lot either. Yeah. Cookie dough. Wow. That's good too. Jeez, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, from Cheryl again. I love boxing segments. What made you decide to incorporate boxing? Boxing came about because my father and I would watch boxing all the time when I was growing up. I would sit with my dad on Friday nights or Saturday nights, whatever it was, and we would just watch boxing. I love it. Rocky movies? Always. The best. You probably can't see Rocky hanging up right there. My favorite guy. I actually met Sylvester Stallone, which was the coolest thing mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. um, it really was. Like I was like, Woo! You like great story. Would you like to share that story? No, it's too long. Oh, too long. Uh, he liked her legs. Next time. Next he time. He liked her legs. <laughs> yeah, he liked my wheels, as he called it. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I just fell in love with it. I think it's a great way to train. And as soon as I started doing it in class, I just I just fell in love. Mm -hmm. Incorporated to classes. And all the women in classes, 40 women every single time, just yeah. started doing it too and loved it. That's fun. Yeah. It's something different. It's a low impact, high intensity. You're in total control of your body. You put those weights on. Mm -hmm. And it kind of gives you that resistance feel. It's really, it's great stuff. Um, they like punching the bag as well. Um, such a different workout. If you have yeah. a bag, great. Um, if you have any kind of like tension in your traps, hitting the bag doesn't feel great. So if you have that, just stay with shadow boxing and just contract, like we said earlier. Um, so Ellen asks what led us to fitness, and I think we should explain that. So Ellen, there's your answer, okay? Um, for everybody, what is one thing on your bucket list? We'll start with Lori. And this, I think this comes from Ellen as well. So Ellen, here you go. One thing on your bucket list. Um, I'm a scuba diver, so I've always wanted to dive with the whale sharks on their migration. So We don't, we don't understand it over here, but <laughs> so she does. I, I've been with sharks in the water many, many times, and um, I just swam with the manatees last year with my daughter. That wasn't diving, but I definitely want to dive with these whale sharks. They're massive. <laughs> Too scary. I yeah, love it. Scary. So that's on my bucket list. Uh, I don't know what's on my bucket list. I, to be honest with you, I don't know what's on there because I actually do what I want to do. I traveled abroad, love that. I'm kind of a boring person. Like She like inspires me to like want to be like that, but I'm not, so I don't try. Um, I don't know, I mean, my bucket list is just um, just to can be fit when I get older. That's what I want. I want to age gracefully, you know, physically and mentally. And yes. if I can do that, that's my bucket list, really. How about you, Sammy? I love to go on an African spot. That's very cool. Too. She that. talks very softly, which is funny because when I'm teaching and she's mad at me, it's not soft. <laughs> um, so she's talking I'll soft, but, I'll try. but she wants to go to African safari. Yeah. But you know what? It's funny. African safari, but you want to be out in the wilderness, right? But when you're done the day, you want to have this beautiful, lavish place oh. to go to with amazing food. So, and a bar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, and a casino. In the middle of a casino. Capacity of a casino. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's She loves casinos. casinos. <laughs> but if I had to be in, in like, in like, the wilderness all day and looking at gorgeous creatures, I have to say. I'd love to see a giraffe up close, all that. Mm -hmm. If I had to do that and then go back and be in a tent, that's not working. Oh, no, for I don't want to go in a tent. <laughs> no, I want, I think you want lavish at the end of the day. That's an awesome yeah. idea. Yeah. Noelle, bucket list. Um, I've always, always wanted to go to Hawaii, and mm -hmm. I'm actually able to go in May. Yay! Yay! So that's also my fitness goal, too. I have that trip coming up. Well, wait, I had to wait to go to Hawaii when I was 50, okay? Well, you're not 50 yet. You're not even... It's a business trip. I have a photo shoot while I'm there. So oh, okay. It's going to be a business trip. It is trip. a business trip, which yes. is good. So you're... I guess I'm 13 years older than you. I'm 42. And I'm going to be 55 soon. So wow. Sammy just... <laughs> How about that? Wow. So anyway, she just turned 50, and she's on the horizon, so... 
And we're um, already planning her trip. Oh yeah. Where are we going? I don't know. So she with the manatees. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we'll put her in the water. We'll have a drink up on the sand. <laughs> and I would still love that. <laughs> we'll watch you. Okay, here's a question. Now, for all, what is your favorite 30 Minutes of Fitness DVD? Now, I'm telling you, asking her this question, she'll say, I don't know, I don't know which one that one is. I don't know what it was. I, I don't can't know answer it. I'm sorry, she, I can't she, answer it. She still doesn't know what she was in. And it's just, she just can't keep oh, it all straight. Let's see. <laughs> I want to see how you guys answer. What's your favorite? TLC. Oh, you're good at that. Oh, yeah. Yes. Where I had to wear your shoes. Oh my gosh, okay, so I have the biggest foot, okay, so I'm, I'm this, probably the smallest with the biggest foot, okay, so I'm a nine and a half, or I'm five four with a nine and a half size foot. Normal, you're probably an eight or something. Eight and a half. You're normal, eight. You're, you're an eight, you're what? Eight. Okay, so we go to film TLC, Lauren, Sammy, and I, dude forgets her sneakers. <laughs> so Lauren doesn't have a pair. So she's wearing my clown shoes. So if you look at TLC, it's hysterical because she's wearing a shoe that's like a, a so so big for <laughs> she's flapping her feet, trying to box and flap and box. It's hysterical. So go check TLC at hysterical. The other thing she didn't tell you with circuit burn. Her it was her what, it was your yeah. first shoe. It was my first, first shoe. Her first shoe. Her shoelace comes untied. Her shoe's about oh. to fall off, and I'm doing circuit burn and. It's, we're jumping and moving. She's like, oh my god, the director's not seen it. The shoes are tight. on her face. Yeah, you, you look. If you see face. that video, you will see when it happens and you will see my face. I'm looking at people for Somebody help. Stop filming. And nobody's <laughs> helping me because before the first video, Kelly said, we need to shoot as much as we can straight, straight through. through. Straight Cutting, through. It, it, it's. We don't like to stop in no. the film. Don't like to stop. So that's in the back of my head. I don't want to disappoint her. <laughs> so. It was tapping, you could hear the little the end of the shoelace tap, tap, as I'm jumping. And I was afraid to go full force because I was afraid I was going to trip. <laughs> it was not good at all. That's hysterical. She was hoping the director, Greg Twombly, would step in and go, hey, cut, cut. Or you tie your shoe. Somebody. Yeah, Annie, yeah. who like works behind the scenes for me. Nobody stopped. No one noticed her shoe. I didn't even see it. They're probably looking at me to see if my nose was running. <laughs> and they didn't see her shoe. Um, so, uh, this, this... Wait, I didn't... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> My favorite class or work DVD is Olympic lifting. Which what was oh, that called? Oh, yeah. Lift. Lift. Love lift. Yeah. So you like the workout one, which is all the Olympic lifting. Yes. Do love you like it. power sculpting, which is the second workout? You don't do that one much, do you? No. Just that one. Yeah. She loves. She loves bar work. It's great. Yeah. It's great. Um. So. <laughs> So we'll start today. All right, so we have a funny thing with that. But anyway, so this, this is question is, what is your favorite core exercise? Now, I kind of know everyone's answer, but I'm going to start with you because you like core work. She's struggling. She just made me a liar. Can you believe a that? plank? I don't know. What? What do you think my favorite core workout is? I think you like the plank, down dog. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. So she likes to go from a plank to a down dog and do a reverse push up. But what do you call that when you go down? Like it's, it's, we like call I'm it a dive diving. bomber. But yeah, it's like I'm diving in. Yeah, it's a, but it's called something in yoga. I'm sure. You people who probably yelling, it's a song, it's a song. That's that's us. What's your favorite core exercise? Uh, plank. Yeah. I'm gonna do something on the floor the plank. Yeah. Mine would be plank up downs. Yeah. Or boxing. I mean boxing's well, kidding. Yeah. That's a, yeah. But in, I had to say in. that because I didn't let them say it, so I said it. But yeah, I think up downs. When you go from a plank down, down, up, up. I love that. Mine is a laughing hysterical. Yeah, well, she does guys. Like it. It's the yeah. best core exercise. I highly recommend it. Well, because you don't do well, any other do core that. exercise. I don't like anything else. She'll lay there, just pick at her she'll, hand. Yeah. <laughs> or talk to us. And she'll talk, and I'm trying to teach. She goes, "Hey, Noel, did you see that?" <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> okay, you guys already answered that question. They asked, "What is your favorite class to take?" And Patricia, I love it when Kelly calls out and teases the members of her crew during the workouts. Do you guys worry about what she's going to say next? You see it coming ahead of time? LOL. Patricia's so cute, by the way. Yes, she, she loves is. cats. Patricia. We love it. Oh, I love her. Hi, cats. Patricia. Um, I think we know when she comes into class if she's like feeling feisty. Mm -hmm. So you kind of get that vibe right away, and then you. I don't know. Yeah. Right? So she'll pick on us. Oh, yeah. So, so, do you know what's coming ahead of time, or no. do you know what I'm going to say? You have no idea. No, uh, I'm film. No. Or in class. They don't know because I don't well, even know what I'm going to say until I say it. Well, she doesn't know what I'm going to say in class. Yeah, well, actually, I have an idea. 
and it's been never really great. I'm not allowed to say anything. But sometimes I'm in class saying something so stupid, I'm like, gee, that was stupid. <laughs> I'm just saying whatever the heck is floating around in my brain, and it's a lot of stupid stuff at times. So do you ever know what, what I'm going to do next? No, but I love it when you do that. It lightens everything up. We can catch our breath and kind of laugh, so it's fun. I love when Kelly does that. It's, it's great. Okay, Nancy. I would like to hear everyone's personal workout rotation. <clears throat> Is there anyone you would recommend? How about once a month calendar of workouts using your DVDs? So let's let's use the rotation. The rotations, I'll answer really quick with that and then they can get to it. The rotations are on my website at callitfit.com. If you want a rotation, you'll see a tab, the rotations are there. I try to give you one like every like every season to follow. So um, check my website and you'll kind of see what we do. So uh, Noelle, like what's your routine for the week? Um, Mondays, I'll take Kelly's class. Um, she doesn't always know what she's going to teach that day, so yeah. I'm usually texting her at 8 a.m. What is it what today? Do, what do we need for class? Um, and that's usually cardio with weights. Yep. Um, Tuesdays, I will do Ripped and Ride, which is like a spin type boot camp. So you're on the bike, you're on the floor lifting back and forth. Although Tuesdays, we're going to start hot yoga together. Yeah, well, I'm already doing it. I already do a bigger yoga. Okay. She's going to join me. Yes. Love it. Because I need it. Um, Wednesdays is heavy lifting with Kelly. Thursdays is boxing the bag with Lori and Sandy. Um, and Friday is boxing. Yep. Kind of boxing. I may throw in a Saturday. I may not. But I'm usually like five days a week. <laughs> Which is great. Um, I work Monday, Tuesday, so I'm off for the rest of the week. Wednesday is the heavy lifting with Kelly. Thursdays I'm starting out with Lori and uh, Noelle doing the hitting the bag. Friday's the boxing, and on Saturdays I go with my hubby to his Aww. gym, and he kind of puts me through his, I know, he puts he's, me through his own rotation, which is not easy, so, four days. Yeah. Yeah, so Monday I do class with Kelly at 9.30. Yeah, with no will. Uh, I work Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Thursday I box, <clears throat> Friday I do kickboxing, and Saturday I normally box as well. So she likes boxing, I in other words. Yeah. Um, and my, I teach Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so it's interval training, it's heavy weights, it's boxing, and then other than that, I just hang out in my basement the other days, two of the other days, and, I too. and put, now I'm putting on film what I do down here, um, and you have to excuse me for any, any goofy stuff that I might do. I did a step workout recently, I messed up, I'm like, yeah, you just keep going. <laughs> so when you do these raw workouts, it's just me doing my workout, I will mess up, and, you know, whatever. Yeah, well, it's, it's normal. Yeah, it's normal for me messing up. So it's, uh, Renee says, in light of your recent post about changing the way you exercise as you get older, which I talked a lot about, have any of you all had to do that and how? Um, when I teach class, I have more energy than, than ever. So when I teach, I'm a whole different person than when I do a class or when I work out on my own. So when I teach, uh, I'm overboard. When I work out on my own, I'm, I'm more... Uh, more mental with it, uh, more controlled. I think, you know, everything's just more deliberate than when I teach. When I teach is more, I, I try to put on a show for, for the most part. So when I'm home, I really bring it down a lot, and I'm smart, and I'm safe, and, and that kind of thing. When I film, I film really smart, too, because you guys at home, you know, I don't want to do 7,000 air jacks and, 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 and burpees until, like, you know, you feel like you're going to throw up or something. Um, I want you to help to enjoy your workout like I do when I'm at home. So that's why I'm not over the top. Can I do it? Sure, I can do it. It's just really not smart. So I tone it down if my, my knee feels weird or my ankle feels weird or something feels weird. I just don't do whatever it doesn't, it doesn't like. So I do tone it down. Even in class sometimes if I'm having a weird day, even in class I'll ask them if they can do something and I'll kind of keep myself more low-key. So you had an issue. Uh, so I, I seem to every once in a while have an issue, whether it's my ankle or my shoulder. So I like to go as hard as I possibly can, if I'm feeling up to it. I don't think I've changed anything other than if I do feel that, that I'm not, I have to listen to my body you and if I feel like I have, have to, to back off, yeah. that, that's all. But nothing, I definitely have not. I'm going to be 50 next year, so no. I, I, if anything, I want to add more and, and go even harder. When she can. So that's the important part, when you can. You don't push through like a joint feeling weird or an ankle or like a heel. You don't push through that. You glide through that, you bring it down, and you be smart about it. But if you feel up to it, then you can go for it. But know your body. Sailor? 
Uh, as I get older, I've always brought the impact down a little bit. Right. You know, I'm not a big jumper. But Lori loves all her jumping. I'll bring that down because my lower back. Um, it's a lot better it used to be actually now because I'm modifying when it comes to like the high impact stuff. So right. That's that's what I bring down. That's that's, that's smart. Noel. Well, she's still. She's only 41. She's 41. She's 42. She's <laughs> a baby. She thinks of you as younger though. Always. She's um, a kid. I do get lower back pain, so I definitely had to modify that. If we're doing like bent over rows, I'm usually upright. Um, I every now and then get really strange knee pain, but other than that, I try not to jump too much. Like I don't do a lot of like plyo jumping up on the step because I don't know what's gonna. So she modifies in class, and also when she does squats, I always have her turn her toes slightly out. So we try to get her form where she's sitting back in the heels, slip toes slightly out. So if she feels a knee thing, I won't let her do lunges front and back. She'll just do. Um, a static lunge and she'll go up and down or she'll do something else but um, she knows what she can and can't do so she modifies in class if I see her doing something that makes me nervous I'll go over to her and say no or I get the look don't do Usually that don't do that <laughs> yeah so most people in class I would say I know 75% of people in my classes I know who they are and what their injuries are so I know I'll look at some point of brain and her mom takes class which is the cutest thing in the entire world yes love her when I get too crazy in class, she goes out of the classroom and stands in the hallway and just watches. <laughs> but that's rare. But she's a very cool, cool woman. She's awesome. So Renee asks, you guys know Renee. Again, Renee is <coughs> oh, hung with her. How often do you personally do 30-minute workouts, or do you usually take 60-minute format? I'll take that one. Um, when I do class, it's 45-minute classes. I have to get people in. Now, I'm, well, when it's 45 minutes, I have to get everybody on the same page. So, uh, you guys know I love the 30 minute format, but I need the extra 15 minutes or a little longer because I have to make sure everyone's getting the same workout. So, classes are longer. Um, when I'm at home, the 30 minute workouts. So I do work out by myself at 30 minutes. I never go longer. When I go for a run, it's a 30 minute run. I hardly ever go longer. I think, you know, I think I have ADD, fitness ADD. I think so too. Yeah. That's a problem. That could be a problem. Bad. Yeah. What's that? Bad. bad. Fitness ADD. Yeah, I'm fed. Um, so that's what I think these guys their boxing is 45 minutes their class they'll, and then the rip divide is 45 minutes we're really a 45 minute crew because you're in classes um, on your own do you work when you work at home to lift and stuff you do it 30 minutes I don't really lift that I don't work at home much. when you do when you did the lift yeah DVD, 30 time that was it so that's so if you're doing 30 minute workouts at home you're really kind of where you're supposed to be other than that it just stresses your body out it's just kind of it's a pain in the neck so all right now, one thing for Lori, it's funny because, you know, she loves boxing. She hits the bag. And she's so into it. She wants to hit that bag all the time. So do this. So go up there and hit that bag. You never hit that bag. You tried it. Go try that. No. I, I want to see that. you punch it ten times. You think she's so good. No, I, ten times. No, try it. I, no. Oh. I want to see you punch it no, ten times. this is a setup. I know it is. I, I swear it's here. not. I walked down here before we sat at the table, and I, this just explains what she's saying. I punched the bag. I don't even and know it if she knows. Her back. And it punched me back right in the chest. So I can't. I can't do it for you. I'm sorry you missed it. But you know what's so funny is that bag is there for her to do that. The first thing the girl does when she walks down here when they come on the set, the first thing she does is punch it and hits her back. But that was there for you. I'm so glad I did that when I walked down. Because I had you doing that on film. I knew she would have something for me. But anyway, so I was gonna have Noel take my baseball bat and hit the bag. She goes, Kelly, I just want to hit that bag with that bat. Now she'll hit me in the back of the head, so I was prepared for her to hit that, but I don't want to be hit. But um, she's been dying. I don't want you to do it now. Okay, okay. She'll hit me. She's like, oh my God, do you want me to? I'll do it. Just made her nervous. Okay, for those of you who are battling overeating, how do you keep yourself from backsliding or going too far if you veer off course, Renee? You've got some questions, girlfriend. Uh, I'm not an overeater, so I can't answer that question. I don't love food. I'm not a foodie. I watch people eat food, and they seem to enjoy it so much. Like her. They, uh, you too. I like food. You're more like, you're more like me. Like you, I enjoy you like, my food, but I know. Not like them. Not. Like she'll have short ribs and mashed potatoes when she has it, you know, when yeah. we're going out. These guys order these really fancy stuff, and we're like, wait, we don't want that. Sure. But they make it look so good, but I'm not, I'm not a foodie, so. No, see, I, I'm bad as a question. Do you ever overeat? Well, you kind of explain that. Do you ever overeat, and how do you get from being oh. on that path? Of, of when you gained the weight recently, 
had you stopped yourself? Well, you I can still overeat because I just, if it's all protein and salmon and chicken and steak and blue cheese dressing and salads and Caesar, no. Yeah, I mean, keep going. I can have as much as I want. So it's a perfect lifestyle change for me. Uh, I love food, and yes, I definitely can eat like a man. I think she can. <laughs> and punch like a man. Yes. <laughs> I think she's a guy. No. All right, now that one's Take too the far. wig off. Take the wig off and show him. <laughs> the wig. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo! All right, Sam, you go. Um, what do you do when you feel like you? <laughs> what do you do when you feel like you just okay? I've been doing feel reading for like weeks now. I just I gotta pull it back. What do you do? Um, I'll do the high protein, lower carb. She's good to that too. Water. Yeah, I mean that's kind of how I eat anyway. But if I want a piece of sour bread, I'm gonna eat that. Mmm, gosh, I love me mm, some sourdough I do too. And you, she likes beer too. And I give up beer, I which do. is amazing. Uh, it's just clean drinks, vodka, salt, water. Mm. Um, I only really drink beer is when I'm at casino. <laughs> Which is I think it's a little too much. A little too then. much. But I can't drink all night vodkas, you know, and I can drink beer all night at a casino, so oh, beer, beer makes you fall. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, so I give it to Um are you going to ask what the question was? No, also, also <laughs> the question was, what do you do when you go through periods of overeating and how do you back the from backslide um, from a good diet? Um I've been eating very clean recently. I know that worked for me very well You're years ago. Mm -hmm. Um I tried her way of eating not too long ago, and it worked fabulously for you, but it made me feel... I feel nauseous when I don't eat carbs. I felt very lightheaded. Yes, um, me too. So I'm eating clean, smaller meals every couple hours, um, really avoiding like super starchy carbs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I just feel so much better on that. Now, I, I was so impressed with the way she like you know got herself back when oh, she went yeah. a short amount of time, and she enjoys the, the food she's eating, and I'm like, oh, that's so great. I told my husband, New Year's is New Year's. We're starting. I'm gonna eat just like that. You're gonna eat just like that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Well, New Year's came, and I had a hoagie, and, <laughs> and then uh, then I wasn't gonna drink wine through the week, and Monday came, and I had a glass of wine, and so the bottom line is I can't do it. So that's why I work yeah, out. Do it exactly. She doesn't. I'm not be, not being a foodie helps me. Yeah. Helps me a lot because I don't really care about it. I eat when I feel nauseous or when I know I have to or just when I'm sitting down. Yeah, I don't know if I was, you know what? I don't know if I would say that. Yeah. Tina's at like a, a, an occasional bad sandwich every now and then. <laughs> Usually at the end of the night hanging with her. <laughs> um, so Lucy says, do you ever look back at a DVD and wish you could change something or set something or what you did? Oh my gosh, Lucy, all the time. Yep. I can go back personally and want to change stuff in DVDs all the time. It morphs into what it is over a four to six month period. And then after I film, I'm like, ah, yeah, I would have. And I try to change stuff in my head. It's brutal. When I first started filming, I would change it all the time. And even up until the day I filmed, I'm like, are you changing something? And you I, do. I'm, you I'm do. always changing them. Like, my mind goes 24 hours a day with, with, with moves. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. And I, I will be uh, driving, and I'll pull aside the road, and I'll write down something that just popped my head. It's your fitness ADD. It's my fitness, my fitness ad. Fat. Yeah, fat. Um, so yeah, so I am always changing <laughs> stuff, and yes, I would probably go back to every single DVD almost and change something. I definitely would change a couple outfits. Oh, uh, you know, I'd hold my stomach in longer for a couple <laughs> things. There's, there's definitely stuff I would love to change. Now, would you like to change anything? I would take an allergy pill. <gasps> Oh, we were filming at the Hill Studio in oh. Paulsboro, oh, and there's something at the studio that made her nose run the whole time. It looked like sweat. So you so guys didn't every know time I would crying. go down and, and do a, uh, what were we doing, deadlifts, yeah. it, <laughs> just, uh, I couldn't stop it, so I was just going with it. And then I tried to like get my glove in there, and that was awful. <laughs> so uncomfortable and horrible. So she would take allergy pills. So now she I take allergy there. pills every time. I guess there's something in the ceiling, or yeah. there's, there's a lot of dust and stuff. It's an old building. Yeah. How about you? Would you change anything, or they probably buy, bring shoes to <laughs> right. TLC? Yeah, the TLC or my own size. Um, it's just, it's, I'll do whatever you do. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. I don't know if there's anything I would really change. Yeah, because um, it's always my mistake if it's something bad, so she can't change anything but wearing the right shoes. I would have worn a smaller bra and uh, a toe buster. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, that wasn't yeah, I feel like it. I, I got the wrong size. I thought I was bigger than I was. And um, there's a little gappy. She gets a large. I'm like, why would you get a large? What is wrong with you? She needs know. a large. 
She does not. And so she walks in, she got this big gappy thing. I'm like, what the heck is that? So when I was done, I gave it to Lori. Yes. So she, it fits her. Perfect. It's great. Okay, Cynthia says, uh, he, Marcus isn't here. Oh, Marcus. He had, some people work five days a week. Can you believe that? I can't imagine. Say it, but he is at work. Um, right now we're filming on a Friday at noon, so he's working. How does Marcus feel when he's the only male member? Is there a different vibe when exercising with all females or males? Does he work out differently when he's not exercising with you guys? Um, does his exercise or cycle, what is his, well the, the whole, the question of what his cycle or rotation is, he does classes. He does with us. I mean, that's what he does. That's why, if he gets, if he's, um, he was relocated to a, a, a different area for a while there and he was able to make classes. He came to a couple rehearsals for uh, body design. He just steps right in there because he's done class for so many years. He can just yeah. follow me. Yeah at the rehearsal and not having done the class. It's so cool. Um, he's so funny. He loves being the only guy. He loves oh, attention. He loves what guy doesn't love attention? It's, right? it's definite entrance. He waits until we're all set up and he walks, walks through. Right in. Comes yes. right in front of the room. He's like, head down. down. Looking good. <laughs> um, so uh, the funniest thing when we had Rob on, if you guys remember Rob, who was just a doll. He was a great guy, great fitness professional. Marcus seemed like a little, a little aggravated. No, the guy was on set. Oh, oh Marcus. He's younger. I'm he was sorry. younger, and he's just like buff, and it's Rob's here. Yeah. He looks like Superman. So we all thought he was Super Clark Kent. And we Superman. call him Superman. Yes, yeah, so we call him Superman. Um, well, I so, thought it was something else. So, yes, yeah, you, yeah. Heartthrob Rob. <laughs> so he he would just like, he'd have heavier weights and muscle up, and Mark, and we'd say something bad, and Marcus would say, he's got to have the heavy weights. You know. Uh, Marcus knows not to pick up the heaviest weights or the heaviest kettlebell because he knows he's going to be on set for a while. Rob didn't know that. So if you watch Muscle Up, you watch that guy struggle. He's struggling. I mean, I was struggling over because I was trying to show you I can do it, which is really hard on set. At home, it's different. When I watch Rob struggle behind me, when I watched that, that video back, I was hysterical. <laughs> and then we did the, uh, what was it, let's break it down, Rob? And he's just oh, standing yeah. there like, what? Oh, We're like, hey, Rob. So anyway, that was fun. <laughs> he was a good sport. He was a, he was a great sport. Okay, get down to the end. Marcus is not here, so I can't ask the question. Noel, what do you try to capture in taking pics on set during filming or, you know, whatever? Like, what do you try to avoid when you're filming? Um, or what do you try to capture? Shooting on set is really difficult because I have to capture her when she's not talking. Or sniffing. Or sniffing or moving her mouth around or... It, it's tricky. But she seems to know when the cat when my camera's on her, even though she's looking straight ahead the whole time, and she'll smile knowing I'm getting a few shots. So I try and get a couple of each move move as she goes, but it's kind of it's tough. It is hard. It's funny when I see her down there getting my tapers. I'm I'm filming, and I kind of see her a little bit. I'm doing something really hard. Going, <laughs> so I'll put a huge smile on, even though I'm dying, and I'm like, did she get it? Did she get it? Did she get it? <laughs> So if you see me smile on film doing something that no one should be smiling, it's because I'm taking a picture. I'm aware she's trying to get a picture for the cover or for me to show you guys what we did. Um, Sammy, question was, no, oh, here's your question. She's not a photographer, so I can't ask her that question. Actually, you were really good at taking selfies. He can take a <laughs> selfie like you don't even know. But anyway, <laughs> that aside, most people don't know you have a pacemaker. We had discussed that. Um, what actually happened that you needed one? And do you ever... The biggest question is, do you ever worry about that pacemaker? And we had a, a recent incident, didn't we, last year with your pacemaker? Oh, the battery, yeah. Um, every 10 years, well, first of all, I have a congenital heart block. So it's, my heart muscle is strong, it's just the electrical part of it doesn't miss fibers. So that's why the pacemaker keeps it in sync. Um, and I needed a place, obviously, when I was pregnant with Cassidy, I had an episode. How old were you? 37. Ugh. 37. Uh, I was driving home, got really dizzy, almost passed out, and I thought, uh-oh, this isn't right. So three days later, they put a pacemaker in me. And then last year, she was really weird in class. Like, she yeah. had no energy, and she was like, whatever. And we were trying to get worried for her because we didn't know what was going on. I left class, though, because I couldn't. I just literally couldn't do it anymore. But Scary. It was 10 years. Every 10 years, I had to have the battery replaced. And it was getting down to that last month and a half, I yeah. think it was. 
Um, so it was time. It's like my battery was like draining. <laughs> So she got I was getting drained too. Yeah, no, it was scary to watch it. But, yeah, yeah. And then she um, got her pacemaker in and it took two weeks where she couldn't use her arms. She couldn't come for two weeks. Um, I was back to normal. Yeah, and I got some texts those two weeks, but it wasn't fun. Stuff you were texting me during the time you couldn't work out. Mm -hmm. Angry. Angry. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, Lori, we already talked about the osteo osteopenia. Mm -hmm. How do you feel now? What is what is the difference from when you started with us years ago to how, who you are now? How do you feel, whether it's physically or emotionally or whatever? How do you feel inside about what working out has done for you over these years? Uh, I definitely feel more confident. I definitely feel strong, um, and I think it just gives me energy, gives me purpose. Yeah. Love my friends. So yeah, all positive. You know. Yeah. Really good. I think someone. Uh, collage video they ask a question when you first go onto their site um, basically what makes you stand out that kind of thing and there's really nothing that makes me stand out what, what I try to achieve is when women come into my class for the first time their heads kind of low um, they just had kids they have you know the husband they care the house and and you know you know I know when they walk in they're not who they were before they had kids and before they had to care of the house and stuff what I want, what I like to see, is months into like someone just entering my class, they totally change. Their confidence goes up. I kind of feel like I'm giving the females back who they were before they were burdened with life and everything that just came onto them. So my job is to take you and give you back who you were, give you back your maiden name, so to speak, in your heart, make you that person again, because you shouldn't have lost that person. Fitness makes you, you, and nobody else can take it away from you. So that's, that's the big deal with fitness and why I do it. And these guys are awesome. We've all changed as we've gotten to know each other. And it's been like the greatest experience ever. Um, there's people are, aren't here, or I wish they were here, Lauren and Chris, and yeah. who I started with. It's really great people. Um, but this is the, the basis of the crew. And they'll be here doing some raw workouts with me, hopefully in the future. And Will goes, I can't wait to show up on a Thursday and do a raw workout with you. I'm going to beat that bat. Yeah, she's going to beat that bat. <laughs> so I'm going to be allowed, we're going to beat that thing with the, that bat. Um, but cheers to my great friends, my crew. Cheers. My sanity in those days. Cheers. Cheers. Love you guys. Too. We love you too. We hope you got to know us here at Coffee Fit Raw. We'll see you soon. Check out all the DVDs. And I'm going to get up and kind of look awkward going to turn this off. So <laughs> you guys talk amongst yourselves. She forgot a question. Uh, love it. <laughs>